Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Oh, crap. Start it. Like, I'm not even wearing makeup and my eye starts twitching. Ugh. Anyway. Um, so it's about one o'clock in the afternoon here on uh, Monday, the 9th of July. Uh, I am actually, probably for the first time in a long time, actually getting a decent amount of sleep. So, um... Which makes this even worse, actually, because, like, I can't blame it on being sleep-deprived. Uh, I had so much I wanted to say, and now I'm kind of blanking. Um, uh, the last, I don't know, week or so has been kind of hard. Um, eh, probably longer than that, actually, but it, it comes and goes. But this last week has been particularly, I'd say harder. Um, so I'm just going to jump into it. What's going on in my head? Um, I started to notice the withdraw shit happening again. Uh, for no particular reason. And again, as per usual, nobody's fault <laughs> except mine. Um, so some stuff happened a couple of weeks ago. I talked it out with people that I trust talking stuff out with, and I thought I was okay, I thought I was good. Um, and I'm good with that whole situation, I know I'm being vague, and I'm sorry, but I, I kind of have to be, but, um, I, I talked that situation out, I feel a lot better about that situation. The problem is that because of the way my brain functions, um, It's not internalizing necessarily. I think in this particular instance, it just triggered a, a thought train. A very specific thought train that does not hit very often um, because this happens when it hits. Um, so I try really hard to ignore it and I try really hard to spin myself back up. And generally speaking, I'm pretty decent with it. I've been really busy with work and really busy with everything else. So it makes it easier to ignore myself. Um, it's harder right now, which is funny because I'm busier than I have been in a while. Um, so this particular thought train, and I know we've talked about this before, for anybody who knows me, um, I'm considered to be the positive slash up one of my siblings. It's generally pretty easy for me to be positive and to, to stay on track. Um, but this last week has been difficult. Um, I'm starting to notice that I don't want to talk to anybody as much. Um, and it's not because of anything anybody is doing necessarily. It's more that uh, I have it stuck in my head right now that I'm stressful for other people and that I'm burdensome um, and that I'm annoying. That one. So that particular thought train is the one that got triggered. Hardcore triggered. Um, I don't know. I'm... Uh, so, I'm noticing that I'm feeling the urge to apologize to people for existing right now. I talked with my twin sister about this on Saturday before I came home from Michigan, but, um... It's a lot harder for me to engage with the people that I love and the people that I care about when I feel like I'm hurting them by being around. Uh, and that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, I don't think I've ever, like full-blown cried on camera. I might this time. I'm sorry. Um, I just, I get it stuck in my head that I'm too much. Like, my personality's too much. My, my, everything connected with me is too much. Um, so, you know, it, it's, I guess this is my attempt at just telling everybody what's happening, but also kind of you know, don't let me do this. It's not your guys' responsibility, but and it's my responsibility, and I'm fighting it as hard as I can. I promise I'm fighting it as hard as I can, but um, it's harder to do when the shit in your head feels real. Uh, and the thing, too, is that I have this super loud voice in the back of my head telling me I'm being fucking ridiculous, and that's helping. That That's really helping, like, like but... Like, I'll get around my friends or my family, and it just feels like I shouldn't be there. Like, I don't belong around anybody right now. That's kind of been a constant in my life anyway, but, um... I've never felt like I fit in really anywhere. Um, 
Right now it's worse though. Um, I'm not having any like super negative thoughts. I don't want anybody getting that in your heads. I'm not like, there's no suicidal ideation or anything like that going on. I, I generally don't get that. Um, it's more about... I need everybody to understand that right now I'm feeling like I'm a detriment to you by being around. And not to the point of, like, killing myself, but to the point of just pulling back. To the point of, like, I'm gonna let you make contact, I'm not going to... That way, for me, there's a little bit of validation that I'm not the one who's being annoying. <laughs> um... It, this is, this is, for me, it's, I feel myself doing the radio silence thing, and I don't want to. So, I'm, I'm trying really hard, but if you notice that I'm not talking as much or something, I would greatly appreciate it if you would, like, call me on it. Um, or, you know, hell, if I am being annoying and burdensome, now would be a really good time to let me know. Um... I've fought this my whole life, for as long as I can remember anyway, and I'm, uh, I've done this in the past, I've, I've done the whole, like, Alex and I got into a fight once, and I just, I removed anything that looked like it remotely had anything to do with me from our living room and put it in a box in the closet so he wouldn't have to deal with knowing I was there. Kind of a thing, um... Right before Alex died, I asked him for a divorce. Not because I was wanting one, because I really didn't, but... And he asked me why, and I told him the truth, is that I didn't want him to be miserable... I didn't want him to be miserable being stuck around me longer than he had to be. I wanted him to be happy. And there's this fucked up part of my brain that thinks... People being happy means me not being around. Um, so I'm trying. And um, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. Um, not as far as like the, the whole withdrawing thing, but I'm going to... There's not too much I can really do beyond doing what I would do anyway, no matter if it makes me feel bad or not. So I'm going to keep doing it. Um... You know, I'll keep reaching out to people, and if, if, you know, it, 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 there's not too much I can do about the fact that it makes me feel like I'm irritating right now. Um, but I'm trying really hard not to, it's just, the, I, I figured it would be a lot more fair for you guys to know what was going on, so if you're in my life, and... You know, shit happens. But, you know, that might be why I'm acting a little odd. And I know I am. I can feel that I am sometimes. And I can see that I am sometimes. Like, if I go back and, and reread stuff I've said or rethink stuff I've said, it's like, fuck. But, um, yeah. I'm slowly trying. I'm slowly getting better. I can feel that it's not as bad. But I can feel it. Every time my eyes open right now, and I'm, uh... I guess it's just one of those dark spots I get into, and I'll spin back up. I always do. Um, and I'll keep trying to, to get myself back into a better spot, but, um, just thought you guys ought to know. Uh, I love you all. I really genuinely do. I mean, I, uh... It's funny because I wouldn't do this to people that I don't care about. Like, if I didn't care about somebody, I would probably just not even give a shit about my presence. Um, but for the people who I genuinely give a shit about, this is primarily for you. And I know this isn't, this is an odd thing for a lot of people. I don't show this side very often and I try really hard not to. Um, but I can't hide it right now. So, um, bear with me. I love you guys. Uh, and I will be seeing you. Bye.